Hey guys, this is the professor. And boy, it's raining outside today. It's a cold, wet rain. And we're forecasted to get our first snowfall of two inches tonight. So it's a good day to be in here by the fire in the log cabin. Now today I thought I would show you one of my modifications for a Dutch oven. This is a standard Dutch oven, a small two-quart that uh, we used to bake apples in. And like other Dutch ovens, it has the rim around the lid, which is great for putting your coals, to keep the coals on top. And also, we have the three legs on the bottom, which then allow the uh, Dutch oven to sit on the hearth and put the coals under it. Now, Dutch ovens like this were very popular back in the day when everyone cooked in the fireplace. But as soon as we went to cook stoves and then eventually modern kitchen ranges, Dutch ovens were still very popular. This is an example here of one that doesn't have any legs, and of course it has the self-basting lid, but there are no way, uh, there is no way to keep the uh, coals on the top. So I'm going to show you a couple of simple modifications that you can do to this type of Dutch oven to turn it back into a campfire or a fireplace Dutch. Now, in order to get your Dutch oven to work like the ones that normally go in a fireplace, you're going to need to simulate the three legs on the bottom of the Dutch oven. And so that's where this folding trivet comes in. It's made up of three pieces of uh, iron here that are half inch wide and eight thick. And it folds up into a small space for easy packing. First of all, you unfold that. Then the third leg then with the rivet on the top here snaps into this hole. And what that does then is to make a folding trivet with legs that are about a half inch and a half long which are just the right size to hold your Dutch oven up above the hearth so you can put your coals under it. Now, next of all, we need a modification for the lid as well because the way it is now, the domed lid with the self-basting feature here, it will not hold the coals. You try to put a few coals on the top, all the rest of them slide off. So what I've come up with here is a very easy modification, simply a piece of hardware cloth which is about an inch, an inch and a half wide, and just the right size to go around the outer edge of the lid. So when you sit this down on top of your Dutch, you can put the coals in there and holds them in place very nicely. Then when you're done with your coals, you can simply pick this up, all the rest of the coals fall off, you can brush the uh, lid off with your broom and get your food out without losing, uh, without having it filled with ashes. And so, Hopefully this will be helpful to you if you have this type of Dutch oven. Oftentimes these come up at uh, garage sales, yard sales for 2 or $3, and so uh, they're a great addition, and they're pretty cheap. So what we'll do here today is uh, show you in the next video how to make some baked beans and cornbread here at the cabin. This is the professor, and I'll see you soon.